Welcome to this short tutorial on using the Snagit software. We'll cover recording a video of your screen with a voiceover, taking a screenshot, and transforming those still screenshots into video presentations that include voiceover. Once you've installed Snagit 2020, uh, you can go ahead and open that up by clicking on the desktop icon or find it in your start menu. It's gonna open up this little window here. Um, Usually it'll open in all-in-one mode, so you'll just have to switch over to video mode on the left-hand side down here. Once we're in there, we want to choose between region and window. I'm gonna choose region as it's better for our purposes. You'll see what the region looks like later. Uh, for sharing, uh, you wanna go with file because that's gonna give you the most flexibility. If you do wanna log into your YouTube account or something like that, there are the options to just directly export uh, to wherever you want it to go. But the, if, you, uh, if you capture it as a file, then you can do anything you want with it. So that's ideal. I'm gonna leave my webcam off. I have a low quality webcam. If you have a high quality webcam and you wanna use it, certainly enable that. Uh, if you do not have a good webcam, just leave that turned off. Uh, preview and editor, I'm gonna leave that turned on. Uh, I'm going to capture my cursor as well, as you can see uh, on the next uh, setting there. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because I need the cursor captured for the type of usage that I use uh, screen capture for. But if you're just going through slides or something, you, you'll probably want to just disable the cursor. It depends on if you're going to use the cursor to show something or not. Um, so that's enabled by default. Feel free to disable it if that would be better for you. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, recording microphone on. I'm going to disable record system audio. But if you're doing a presentation that might have some audio between uh, slide transitions or something like that, uh, then you can certainly enable that and capture that sound. Uh, of course, you're definitely going to want your microphone captured uh, if you are going to be doing voiceover. So we're all good here. So once you're ready to begin your recording, click on the capture button. That's gonna take us to the uh, screen area selection tool uh, where we can select the area we want to display in our recording. I uh, am going to select my whole screen. There are some uh, additional options for you. You can see the hotkeys listed there on the bottom left-hand side when you have this open. Uh, that'll switch uh, depending on where your mouse is, of course, but uh, yeah, just follow along with those if you want to uh, constrain an area. So it's going to initialize after we uh, select our area. I'm just going to make a final adjustment there to select the entire monitor. Uh, so now I'm streaming the entire monitor. So this UI here, uh, you want to keep that out of your presentation area. I'm going to put it inside my presentation area so that you can see it and we can talk about it. So go ahead, click the uh, record button to start the actual video recording when you're ready. And that's going to count down and the recording has started. You can see the progress there. Again, I'll remind you, just keep the UI out of your recording. It's not gonna do you any good. I'm just keeping it in there so you can see it. Uh, you can uh, see that the microphone is working. You can uh, adjust things with the volume. You can reselect the screen size. You can pause the recording, you can end the recording. Uh, so I'm gonna just open up some sample slides here. Uh, I'll move this out of the way so that we can jump in and uh, kind of see how this would work presenting PowerPoint. So you just do it like normal, present uh, the slideshow. And uh, there you go, our slides are taking up the whole screen. We can navigate with the arrow keys like so back and forth. And we can just talk about our content, say what we need to say, move through those slides. And uh, when we are finished with that, we can just exit out of there and uh, go. I'm going to bring the UI back over uh, in view here so that you can see it. Um, and we can just end the recording by hitting stop right here. It's going to process the video there and uh, it's all done. Okay, it's going to open up the Snagit editor here and that's going to let us uh, do some edits. So we can see everything that we've recorded here fly through here, uh, and uh, for example, let's say we want to start the video right here, and we want to end the video here, then that's really easy. We just go ahead and drag the playhead to where we want the beginning of the video. I'm gonna click on this little green button here and just 
highlight that entire area and I'm going to click cut. Now the beginning of the video is right here at the beginning of slide one and I will just uh, go ahead and move our playhead over here to where we want the ending to be and I grab this right here drag it over hit cut and now as we scrub through the video you will see that all we have here is the video that we wanted so when you're ready to export the video just go ahead and click on finish on the top right so it's going to save your capture And it's going to ask you where you want to save that. I'm just going to put test video and save that. So it's worth noting by default, that's going to save into documents Snagit. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pull that up here for you to see. So as you can see, we have our fully exported video. Uh, it's edited and uh, we're good to go. So that's how it's done uh, and then with this video you can go ahead and upload that to YouTube or um, put it in a D2L class or whatever you need to do and that is that before I end the video I should also mention that Snagit has some other cool features they have this image feature where we can take a capture of the screen like so And then that's going to open it up in the editor and then we can actually continue on. So anytime we have the editor open, it's actually going to show us on the bottom here, our library, and we can access the full library by clicking here. Uh, so we can go ahead and make some interesting uh, videos with our uh, screen captures. So now that we have the screen capture that we want, we just go ahead and click video from images. That's going to initialize our new recording setup here. So it's just saying you can quickly create a video with your images. Uh, so we have our image here and we have our ability to draw arrows or type text or draw a box around something or whatever you need to do uh, while you're doing the video here. So. Those are some of your options, and I'll just kind of show you here how that uh, works. So in order to make a video using an image, just go ahead and click the record button here when we're in this Snagit uh, video from image editor. It's gonna give us a countdown. And now it's recording. It's recording my microphone, as you can see, with the little UI down here. And we can just go ahead and say the things that we want to say. So, if, for example, I was telling you that you need to open Snagit by clicking on the Snagit 2020 icon here. While I'm doing that, I can also draw this arrow. And that's actually going to draw the arrow. So, I'll stop. It's going to process the video. And I'm just going to go to where we drew the arrow and... So if you wanted to take captures of each of your slides and insert them uh, into a video from images via this editor, you can definitely do that. Uh, you could even, if you wanted to, just insert whatever color background you want to use. And then you could uh, make your slides as you go. So if this is my slide background, I can go ahead and just type up. Uh, what I want on screen here, slide one, content, and position that right like so, and go ahead and click record. So we have the content for slide one being shown here, and I'm talking, and then when I uh, draw something, it's going to update in real time. But then I can also say, all right, and that's the end of slide one. Then I click pause. Now that it's paused, we can go ahead and change the slide content.
And here's slide two. Now we are continuing on, and this is slide two. And we'll go ahead and stop that now. It's going to process the video. And we can see here. So we begin. So there you have it. Um, you can definitely do some cool stuff with this editor here, and it's quite simple. So good luck, and uh, have fun.